few years ago, I was uh, reading my favorite wine magazine called uh, The World of Fine Wine, and uh, I came across this article about this crazy Italian guy named Marco Simonit, how he's pruning all these famous vineyards of Bordeaux. And I said, my God, if French allow Italian to prune their vineyard, he must be good. Now I have my friend Marco here, who is uh, teaching us how to prune. The basic principle of the Simon Intensive technique is about uh, the structure of the vine, to respect uh, the physiology of the vine. So allow the vine to grow into space, but to control that process. From the root system, ideally, we need to have an interrupted sap flow mm -hmm. that goes from the root to the cane. And to do that, we need to prune the vine, avoiding the big cuts, and to try to put all the cut opposite to the direction of the sap flows. And so the old vineyard gives the best expression, the characteristic of that specific soil and ground and location, and that makes your wine unique. What are the major pitfalls and mistakes that people make in pruning here in Napa? The, okay, the main mistake that people do is to think the vine as a steel structure, not a growing structure. They stop the growth of the vine mainly by making big, severe cut mm -hmm. to bring back the position. We have to understand that every cut has consequences. We need to do the cut in a respectful way for the vineyard, in a way to allow the vine to grow into space and respect its nature, avoiding that big cut that they are very detrimental to the vine vitality. Uh, it's almost uh, another analogy like chess. Uh, just because you learn uh, how to move pieces uh, and you know first move, but these guys are, are brilliant. They see next three moves, meaning three years from now what will happen. And uh, so when they quiz us, okay, where would you prune now? I say, this and he, the, Marco said, uh, what about next year? I said, oh darn, I forgot about next year. So even though on, on the surface this looks very simple, it's very complex uh, pruning and takes years to, to master. From the ground, we go up, we go on the side of the vine and we reach the position where we are going to keep the cane for the next year production. And as you can see, this is an interrupted highway for the sap to go from the ground to the productive cane. How we are going to prune this one? We are going to prune this one, selecting this one, this beautiful cane, as the cane for the production. And this one, it will become the spur of the next year that will allow us to grow the vine into space and to build that beautiful living structure. So, how we are going? We are going to cut like this. Okay, this is the cane. This is the spur that will put into the bank the future of the vine. Let's see how the vine is. The sap is coming out because the spring is getting closer. So, this is the spur for the future. We select the cane that will become the productive structure of this year, and we need, through pruning, to take off which is the old structure, mm -hmm. yeah. that is this one. I'm taking off what is the old structure of the cane to create the space to wrap the new one. This is, as you can see, a cane that is a one-year-old structure as buds. This bud, they will give us a shoot and try to create this line of uninterrupted sap flow that will allow the vine to give us strong cane, beautiful cane, and so beautiful grapes. So pruning is uh, just one of uh, many components of holistic farming that uh, we apply at Kyrgyz Hills. Uh, so all these vineyards are certified organic 
The reason we do all these things is to have vineyards that produce incredible quality. And we cannot forget all this that uh, you heard today, what we are doing, we are doing to produce best possible wine. So this is a bottle of Yantwil Cabernet, our treasure wine, that quality is strictly related to quality of the vineyard.